All right, let's compare uh, serverless version two versus provision so we fully understand the difference between these two. So for Aurora serverless version two, we have fine grade, uh, almost instant scaling. Uh, for Aurora, you are manually scaling. You must plan for downtime. Capacity range is between 0 0.5 to 128 ACUs. So it's very flexible for how you want to change. For, uh, for Aurora provision, it's fixed based on the instant size you choose. For Aurora Service version two, scale, scales in seconds. For Aurora provision, uh, it requires manual intervention. Uh, so it's as fast as you're gonna work with it. Aurora Service version two, um, the read and writes uh, scale independently. For Aurora provision, it depends on the instance type and read replica configuration. For Aurora Service version two, it's compatible with broader version support. For Aurora provision, it has wide version support depending on the instance type. The use case here for uh, serverless is highly available workloads uh, needing immediate scaling. For provision, stable workloads where you have predictable performance needs. Billing is based on ACUs per second, more granule and, uh, plus storage. And then Aurora provision is instance hours plus storage. The cost is gonna be less for provision, if you, again, if it's stable, but if it's not stable, then serverless makes more sense. So it really depends on your use case or if you don't wanna to have to manage uh, manage anything, you know, depends on that too. Uh, for stop and start for uh, serverless, it's res it's responsive, it's cost saving for intermediate loads. You have to manually stop and start for um, Aurora provisioned. Uh, for serverless version two, we have minimal downtime and it's more seamless. For provisioned, it's scheduled. It has scheduled maintenance windows. So there you go.